Mr. Gates and welcome to another Doki Doki Literature Club video. So I'm ready to continue and we're actually going to read everyone's poems today. Uh, hopefully I don't get flustered like the previous times. It's just, you know, they catch me off guard. <laughs> so yeah, I'm super excited. So let's just jump right into it. Alright, we are back and who should we show our poem to first? You know what? I know I chose her before, last time, but our girl Sayuri and I, we had a moment, so I'm gonna show her our poem. She's gonna love it, I just know it. Thank you. Oh, that's sweet. Yes, yes, you can. Oh, she is adorable. Too sweet, too sweet. <gasps> she is adorable. She is so kind. Very true. Well, we know she likes cutesy because when I was choosing all the cute words, she was bouncing. <laughs> There we go again, being, being mean to our girl. <laughs> I like happy the most. <laughs> poem in and itself. <gasps> Ooh, this is a lengthy one. So, Sayuri's is called Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I kept all my dreams. Little ball of sunshine, all rubbing together like bundles of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in the bottle to keep it safe. Oh, this is cute. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and the bottles all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle is starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams, friend after friend, more bottles, deeper and deeper my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies, digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow up dust off, I blow dust off my bottle caps, it doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more, my friends. Look through the locked front door. Finally, all done, I open up and my friends and they come in such a hurry do they want my bottles that much i frantically pull them from the 
shelf one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle, but every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They are all shouting, pleading something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Okay, I did not expect this one from Sayuri. <laughs> we underestimate her way too much. <laughs> no, I doubt it. She's been in the literature club for a hot minute. So hers is cute. Let's see, who should we show our poem to next? No, we had a little thing with Yuri the last time, so I think I'm gonna go with her. Okay, pretty good. Were you influenced by him? I'm sorry, so. Dark words. <laughs> Look, I have my poem. Oh, damn. Oh damn, oh damn. Oh my. Am I supposed to read all this? Okay. The raccoon. It happened in the dead of day while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scattering. That's a scattering, right? Or scum? Whatever, of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an ordinary human. An ordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread and my subconscious well aware of the consequences. Well aware that the raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, the hungry curiosity, the raccoon... <laughs> the moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. The same, the very same light that glistens in the eye of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. To say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood, classic. Conditioning, I slice the bread and I feed myself again. Okay. It was good, you know, I'm not gonna say it's not good, but she needs to do something about that cursive. Or I need to practice reading cursive. <laughs> I 
little more daring. <laughs> it's a bit closer to your preferred. You're good, you're good. Always here to listen. All right, okay, I know I'm gonna choose Monica last. You know what? Because we haven't got to know her much. That, that's the answer. We're gonna go in that circuit. I don't think she's gonna like mine. Oh, that's not really any worse than your last one. Excuse me. Are we interested? <laughs> that was so unnecessary. Please be short. Oh my god, why what? what is everyone running us in today? Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy. Amy likes spiders. Icky, wiggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands probably are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friend starts to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross, she's gross. And the world is better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. What? This was whack. Natsuki. That was whack. No, no, yesterday's was perfect. <laughs> Some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Is that foreshadowing? I know something. I don't know what, but I'm on the edge of my seat here. Again with the suspicious things.
<laughs> yeah, you should. You should try not to. It is, you know. I better not be a slime that's a and we're good. <laughs> All right, and last and probably least is Monica. Let's read it. Ooh, save me. Mmm, the colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, and endless. What? Of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating, waveform, squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust, an endless poem of meaningless. Okay. Okay. Natsuki. I mean, Natsuki. Monica. <laughs> save your game you never know when you might change your mind or when something unexpected may happen wait is this a tip wait what Gonna... <laughs> what? Huh? I don't know 
all true, but I got kind of nervous by that. What the hell? Uh, okay. Anywho. Oh, I have something a little extra planned. Performing what? I hear you out. I know this is something you don't want to do, but I don't care. Suki agreed. <laughs> the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. This is too sudden. is the way they fly. Oh, she's a pro. Eye. 
Love it. Love to see that. My meadow. Okay, so I, I really like her. She is sweet. <laughs> she said, sorry, I can't go to. <laughs> oh gosh, I think we're next. Oh no, Natsuki. Yeah, she didn't go yet. Grudgingly. <laughs> Okay, so they've just been practicing, like, we're just gonna do the recital, and that's it? Before, pick it before the festival. Oh, it doesn't have to be our own. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I mean, this was already a pretty long sesh. Monday's the big day. Oh, I'm pressing Monica. Mm. 
<laughs> Don't make such a big deal. It must be a little nice though. Oh my god, I'm kind of lame. Hi, Emma. That's it for Doki Doki Literature Club. I had such a blast reading everyone's poems and all that good stuff. We do have the upcoming recital thing on Monday, so I'm excited to see what's going to go down. But I hope everyone enjoyed, and I appreciate you all watching, and I'll see you next time on the next Doki Doki Literature Club video. Bye!